good morning. Alita, Buckethead Ranch. I am gonna have so much fun today, guys. I am back at the La Cienica Wash. We're gonna take this wash as many ways as we can because it's gonna get hot and we're not gonna wanna ride. We got up at five through feed and we'll be in the saddle by 7.30. And right now, let me check my watch. It's 7.05, so probably closer to 7.15. So here again, I want you to come along with me, and I have my trusty steed, Elwood, here. He's like, I'm taking a nap before I go. Good boy, Elwood. He's like, don't wake me up, Mom. So anyway, here is a beautiful view of, you can see the ring cons way back. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? The ring cons are absolutely beautiful, and the Catalinas are absolutely beautiful. All these mountains around us are beautiful. And once we have a couple of rains in monsoon, everything's going to come alive. So I will definitely show you that when that happens. Anyway, come along. Okay, I want to address something that is very common in all states and all trailheads. This is strictly horse parking. The hikers and the bikers have their parking way out right there, right there. Lots of room, there's still room. If you come to a trailhead that says horse parking only, please respect that. There could be four or five more rigs pulling in and there would be no room. And then they could possibly have to block these people in. And then what do you have? You have a problem. So please, if you come to a trailhead and it says horse parking, please respect that. Okay, enough of that. Okay, we're trying to get Achilles and Elwood to go across this. I'll give it a try now, Gail. Let's see. Come on, let's see. Come on. Come on. And Elwood was doing this with no problem, and then one day he decided he wasn't going to anymore. So I don't know why he's not going over it. I can walk him over it. Come on and he's fine, so I don't get the problem here. Come on. Good boy, good boy, come on. He says, nope, not a good boy. Okay, well, there's no sense in stressing him and me out. I'll just get off and walk him over. We are on the Arizona Trail. Dropping down again into Sienica Creek. I have lots of Choya, teddy bear Choya. Achilles isn't quite sure about the train. He's like, I don't know, that's pretty big. That's a big giant. Look how beautiful that saguaro is growing right next to that mesquite tree. Isn't that pretty? That is a beautiful picture. Okay, I want to show, show you this picture of the saguaro growing out of this mesquite tree. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. Okay, Achilles is back in front. The big giant train is gone, so he's got his bravery back. We'll give, give a little bit of space there, buddy. Okay.
are again down in beautiful Sienica. And Achilles says, I like the water, Mom. As long as you don't lay down, buddy, you can play all you want. He says, well, you're no fun, Aunt Lita. Elwood was walking down these streams. Now today he's afraid afraid of them. Every day it's like a box of chocolates with a horse. There we go. Okay. Good job, little man. Lots of patience. Yeah. Good job. And Achilles did good also. All this beautiful formation. Okay, we are in La Seneca Wash, which is off of the historic Highway 80, aka Marsh Station Road. So, Zimmerman Trail Head. Come on down before it gets too hot and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful wash. Okay, I wanted to show you how dense our little forest was off the wash. It is very dense in there. And then, not only that, but probably a hundred yards in, it's straight up out of here. So you can't go anywhere once you go back in there. That's why we had the Arizona Trail taking us out of here. But isn't this beautiful? Achilles! Hey, hey, thank you. <laughs> awesome. I'm afraid he's gonna lay down. We do have a deer. She just now seen us. I don't know if you can see her. I hope you can. You'll pop that. There she goes. She's moving. So you probably just seen her go up on the hill. How fun is that? Okay, we are still in Sienna Kawash, but you can see how much it's changed because the water goes underground. And then I'm not sure where this becomes Pantana Wash. It would be neat to know where that changes names. But look at the difference with the water going underground. It's not nearly as lush. There is no lush. <laughs> these dirt walls. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> you can see the water where the water has come down and just played havoc. And there we have Gail and Achilles. So 
sorry, I dropped my camera. <laughs> I didn't drop it, I just, Gail's taking a picture. Hey, we have a hawk hollering at us and we're trying to, look at that Gail. Look how neat that is right there behind you. It's like a crevice coming down. Oh yeah. That is so amazing. Gail's gonna take a picture of it. That is so, <laughs> the way the water has cut all these neat, crevices in the sky today look at the sky it is just gorgeous what a beautiful day southeast Arizona okay look at this just in a matter of just all of a sudden the water has come back up how it goes underground then comes back up it is so amazing I'm going to go around it, Gail. I don't want to take him through this because I can't really see it. I cannot see the bottom of this, so I don't really want to... There we go. But isn't that something, how water goes underground and then it comes back up? It is amazing. Beautiful. Starting to get real flush, flush again. We have crows, we have hawks, we have every, everything. It is so awesome today. All the little minnows. You better hurry up and turn the frogs before this dries out. That's right, exactly. Okay, we have turned around and now we're heading back. We have done over three miles. And we are looking at the same wash at a different angle. And it looks so totally different, doesn't it? Welcome to Arizona. Yeah, some of them are waving. Awesome. That was pretty cool. Good boy. Good boy. I know. Look at our boys. They're walking in this water like they're professionals. No problem. Awesome. Good job, guys. We have to go this way because there's a swing. Yeah, there's a swing hanging there, so we gotta go this way. Well, you can feel the difference in temperature. This is so beautiful down here. 
you feel the difference in temperature but you also feel the humidity but it is so gorgeous I'm gonna see if he will. That's a good idea. Come on now, let's walk over this. Wow, see? That's no different than that pipe, silly. What are you looking at? Huh? Let's keep moving. And he worked, he did good. There we go, good job. We're having the boys walk over stuff just because they won't walk over that bar in the bottom of the gate, which is new. They've always done it before. So we're taking advantage of these logs and have them walk across it. See how easy that is, Elwood, you silly, silly little man. Look what we have here. Isn't that beautiful? A little tiny Arizona waterfall. How fun, right? So beautiful, so peaceful. Okay, we are going further south now. What we did is we passed our Arizona Trail to get up to the trailers. So we want to ride a little bit more. So that is what we're doing. We're going down to the other end of the uh, wash. And this will take us to a bridge on I-10. Look at these beautiful mesquites. Just hanging on. Okay, looky here, we found a trail coming up out of the wash. I say I should say we didn't find it. Gail found it. Good job, Gail. That was amazing. We have an old junk car up here. I don't know why people had the need to to fill them full of bullets. I just I don't get that. You may have to go first. Oh, okay, come on, Elwood. Let's blaze new trails here. It's okay. It's not going to get you. Oh, you finally seen it? Okay, let me turn off the camera. Okay, we are climbing up out of the wash now. It is so pretty. The boys are glad to get out of the sand. But we walked on. We didn't do any running. Or... Oh, look. We have bicyclists on the trail above us. So we're trying to make the horses see so they don't get freaked out. I think they're going to be far enough ahead of us where they won't even know they're there. Okay, Gail went to get her lead rope and halter to put on Achilles because she said he is going to go over this one way or another. So that's what she's doing. And then uh, 
Hopefully Elwood will go. We'll see. If not, I'll just get off also. Okay, I got Elwood across. Now I'm going to tie him up and then uh, go back and help Gail get Eho across. Patience, patience, more patience.